everybody look what I've got today I've got the star tarot the second edition the first one was sold out but I've got this with compliments from the red feather um, publishers and it's by Kathy McClelland your path to self-discovery through cosmic symbolism Wow great I'm excited I feel like it's Christmas again it's slightly open here so that gives me the chance to rip it apart the plastic All right it's of course a beautiful box again this is what the back looks like the star tarot and it gives you um, a description by using 80 78 stunning cards and detailed guide pick you'll gain an even deeper understanding of this world and beyond by recognizing and rec reconnecting to your soul's purpose and inherent gifts created for all readers this book and card deck offer a heightened mythology for deep connection to your inherent gifts and the true purpose of your soul explore new sections linking numerology with the major arcana as you reveal your lifetime personality along with the astrological references three added spreads a larger artwork on the cards explore this dispensable tool seeking infinite personality possibilities spiritually emotionally mentally and physically stars are full of miracles and magic bring the beauty of them into your life and into your heart and then you see four examples of the artwork and the deck costs 34.99 at the time of reviewing stars are full of miracles and magic bring the beauty of them into your life at the bottom into your heart into your life and into your heart I mean, it's gold encrusted it's beautiful with a white snow owl there you go this is all gold this is the side so you can keep it in the book case and it just looks like a book amazing it's magnetized and this is what it looks like when you open it up a thick thick book Wow and it is color inside oh this is really really scrumptious book look at that this is the big arcana and when it got color pages to separate the big arcana from the minor arcana and what I'm recognizing is you've got the astrological sign and so that the ace of pentacles is Taurus Virgo Capricorn element earth lunar cycle the new moon season fall key phrase the gift of uh, manifesting so I will be telling you all about it once I read I'll just take them as I'll, I'll love to get into this book that's beautiful and the artwork is absolutely amazing by the looks of it now I'm just going to do the book first like I always do because I do like to have a look in the book when you have the big let's have a look it is a colorful book it's a thick book dedicated to my friend Karen S. Kamashata a true warrior of life and seeker of knowledge never losing passion to pursue her spiritual evolution then you get the contents and it starts off with the big arcana then a uh, decanates associated with the minors decanates I don't know what decanates means but you've got the suits lunar cycle and aspects then you've got the court cards finding your lifetime birth personality and soul card in the tarot 
that's also there. Terror spreads and by all it, uh, bibliography uh, acknowledgments, the foreword, preference. I have always had a fascination of symbol, nature, and mysteries of life beyond. I'm just going to read a little bit. Um, the tarot system seems to blend all of these ideas together. As I became more familiar with the imaginary of tarot, I realized how universal the symbolism was within each image. The parallel between the tarot uh, symbolism and lessons with the cycles of one's spiritual evolution and the cycles of nature captivated me. We are forever discovering more about ourselves, our world and our universe through the deeper understanding of the stars, the universe and our connection to the unfathomable cosmos. Some oral traditions have the wisdom of the major arcana to be an ancient as the lost continent of Atlantis where the hidden knowledge was put into symbols. Symbolism speaks to the spirit and soul in a way the words cannot. In 1991 I decided to paint my own tarot images. I started with the majors, beginning with the full. These images would be part of the star tarot deck, a name inspired by my love and fascination for the stars. Each image becomes a labor of love, taking up to three months to complex. In 1996 I finished the fifth image of the Emperor and took a long break. In the summer of 2005 I decided to paint the rest of the majors, completing the 17 keys. In the 2006 I self-published the major, majors only deck and booklet and in 2008 my journey led me to Mary Greer who introduced me to a bigger world of tarot enthusiasts through the internet and San Francisco tarot symposium I found there was an interest and appreciation for the star major arcana tarot deck which inspired me to move forward with the minors and so she goes on and another an, an author note about the card interpretations in the interpretations of the majors and the minors you will notice I have not included copy about the reverse position which each card interpretation I have included the positive and the challenge aspects however not to confuse things there is one card that I felt could be read either way and that is the two of swords that being said if one prefers to read the cards both upright and reversed in a layout the challenging aspects of the card can become a bit more highlighted ultimately your intuition will guide you to the best way you use these cards well that's nice to know it's always nice to have a personal touch uh, or advice from an author the major arcana spiritual quest to understanding your karma destiny and dharma major arcana are also called the keys these are 22 cards in the major arcana each card holds a key to unlock its hidden lesson of spiritual evolution on the path of life Akana means mystery. With the mages you are travelling the fool's journey, discovering the multi-layers of the inner mysteries of self-integrating and balancing the conscious self with the spiritual self, brings the ultimate sacred union of the two with the divine. The major guide the mages guide you on the spiritual quest to understand your karma, destiny and dharma. They present big challenges to your spiritual values with lessons and choices as you travel the journey of life. And then we start with the fall. 
Okay. I would like to show you what I read and how the book looks. I've gone through I've gone through the book and every card is colored and this is the full and it says the fearless journeyman. And then you get the history of the fool and what he represents. A little bit of the mythology and culture and history. Also paganism comes into this as, again as well. And it says the symbolism in the fool image. The fool descends down to the conscious world of his new adventure. The crystal he holds in his hand symbolizes memory and gifts that he brings from his past journeys. The eight-pointed star is his guiding light during his journey. The fool carries the staff that connects him to the heavens as well as to the earth. The morning glory growing on the staff those are little flowers I don't know whether you can see them but we'll sh I'll show you that in the uh, cards uh, growing on the staff are forever blooming as a reminder of the possibilities and opportunities that are always there regenerating in our lives the raven calls our sub uh, our subconscious reminding the fool in all of us that the magic in life is available when we quiet ourselves and listen the crocodile represents ancient instincts of survival as well as the fish god a symbol of fatherhood motherhood and the creative energy that is expressed and materialized when the two are in balance. The crocodile is partially submerged in the pool of subconscious and knowledge. He peeks his head and tail out into the conscious realm, maintaining the balance between the two realms. The river starts in a high in the high mountains and constantly flows into the pool forever replenishing thoughts and experiences. The sun rises beyond the mountains, representing a new day and adventure. The waxing crescent moon behind the fool's head represents new beginnings. The white, rose, the white roses on the fool's head represents a crown of innocence and purity. The fool, uh, the fool is on his way to test his instincts and explore new worlds. Astrologically, astrologically, the fool is associated with the planet Uranus, originally rebellion, unconventional, free will and sudden events. And that is, this goes for every card, you'll get magical words or trade, trademarks. Uh, also the astrological sign and that's how you see it and I'm really going to read this book because I want to learn more every deck has this like the uh, um, transparent deck I have uh, it has his own unique things as well so these uh, there are 58 minor arcana cards and each suit or each section of the book is separated with a dark page. So we first go into uh, the, the 58 cards, the swords, the pentacles. Each suit has uh, 10 pick cards, the ace thought through 10 and 4 chord cards, prince, princess, princess or prince, knight, queen and king. The miner will bring experiences and events that will eat, test and challenge the values of the heart, mind, body and spiritual self in daily life. The experiences of the miner brings growth uh, at appropriate 
an opportunity to discover and explore your strengths, talents, gifts and resources. You are put on the stage of life, playing out daily dreams or dramas to find your true self and your life purpose. And then we go, uh, we've got decanates associated with the minor. What are de decanates or decanates on the first page of the minor? Minus, you will notice that the second through to uh, the second through to through the tens have decanates or a deacon in each subtitle. These astro astro astrological associations were brought into the tarot with Alistair Crawley's Toff deck and the, go uh, the Golden Dawn. These are 30 degrees within each house of the 12th zodiac signs, 360 degrees in all. Each house is divided into three sections of 10 degrees, 10, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, called a decanade or deacon. Each decanade has a planet and key keyword associated with it, thus adding another layer to explore in the astrological chart and with the tarot card matched with the decanate. Another laying layer indicate indicated in the uh, subtitle in the trinity of the will, body and ego and physical cards, twos, fives, eights, love, slash, soul, heart, feeling. Cards three, six, and nine uh, are, let's have a look, uh, three, six, and nine, wisdom, spirit, divine, higher self, cards are the fours and the sevens and the tenths. Um, so these three energies make up the physical and the soul with the higher self or the true self. The three make up the physical and the soul and the higher self. The three energies need to be kept in a harmonic balance. If the intellect and the heart uh, can be in peace and unity, then you then open yourself to divine wisdom. You can investigate the decanates further on the internet and through books. They are another aspect that can deepen your understanding of the message contained in the cards. Then we've got the uh, lunar cycles and aspects. And I thought this was really, really interesting because you sometimes you hear me talking about waxing moon and waning moon. Then we've got the elements. Then we have the ace, gifts from spirit, new beginnings. Yes, in traditional decks you always see the hand coming out only in the aces and the uh, four of cups. And then we go on to, this is the ace of wands, this is the ace of cups, but we will be seeing this, the ace of swords, they're very vibrant cards very colorful and the ace of pentacles and here you can see the astrological Taurus Virgo Capricorn element Earth the lunar cycle new moon season is the fall key phrase the gift of manifestation okay and then we go on to the twos That's all the twos. Then we go on to the threes. They put all the cards of the three, all the cards of the twos, fours together. So I think that's quite unique. Again, a little bit different. And that's how they go through the minor. Just going to flip through. 
but we're going to do the cards in a minute. Now I'm just using old uh, pieces of paper to put in between. These are the chord cards, then we've got the princess, element earth, moon aspect, new moon, symbol, medicine wheel, uh, keywords, messenger, student of like, seeker and new beginnings. That is the prince and princesses. That's quite a little bit of information on them that will explain on what they mean, what they stand for, and the uh, moon cycle, uh, the season. Okay, let's have a look if we've got the knights. Uh, right, so we first got the princess. Yes, Princess of Swords, Princess of Pentacles, then we've got the Knight, so I just want to check that back. We've got the Prince of Pentacles, Prince of Swords, Princess of Cups, Prince of Wands. So that is going to be quite uh, difficult to remember. There's two princesses and two princes. Okay. Well, I'll tell you later when I find out what it means. And then we go on to the Knights. Princess of Pentacles. Then we've got the Knights. Element air, astrological aspect, cardinal signs, moon aspect, first quarter, symbol, wheel of fortune, four major archangels, keywords, action, adventure, change, and exploration. Okay, the Knight of Wands, two and a half pages, then we've got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Swords, and then we go on to the Queens, that's a page and a half, Queens of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords has got quite a big explanation, then we go on to the Kings, King of Wands, the King of Cups, they're more, ex they're more detailed than the Queens, Now, this is what I found interesting as well. This is finding your lifetime, birth, personality and soul card in the tarot. Each of us has a spiritual number that we were born to and the number corresponds to one or more of the major arcana cards in the tarot. You can find your lifetime personality symbol for following uh, the examples I have provided in this chapter. In these examples you will find that some of us only have one lifetime personality symbol while others will have two lifetime personality symbols and a soul symbol and in one case three lifetime personality symbols a soul symbol and a teacher. Or creative symbol whether you have just the lifetime personality number symbol or a soul card 
and a teacher creative card. The description of a lifetime birth personality symbol will apply to those different symbols. The lifetime birth personality card reveals your gifts, characteristics, strengths, life lessons, challenges, signposts, karma, as well as what inspires you. The soul card reveals one's dharma and soul purpose. It points to the traits, qualities that assists your spiritual evolution and growth. The teacher or creativity card reveals aspects of the self that may lay hidden or ignored. It signals one's shadow side, fears, limitations, addictions. It also reflects how you handle these aspects of yourself in your life, but also how to express your creativity in living life. I first suggest this system in 1987. Well, that is an example. This is uh, this is an example. The year, the month, the day that you were born. The total is 2,025. Which separated will become nine? So that's the number. Her the number nine is the count of the hermit. When the total adds up to double digit numbers under 22 add them together you then will have a lifetime birth personality card and a social uh, card soul card okay so that's the example there how to determine your yearly growth symbol okay i'm not going to go into this if you would like to know, then I suggest get the book and then we go into um, the each card will be uh, like the high priestess and like the magician and like the fool. You have the lifetime personality symbol. Then you have the yearly growth symbol also explained to you. And that is with each card. And the sun and then we go into tarot spreads just a few helpful hints you get and you've got the yes and no spread the focus spread and then you have the destiny spread okay and that is the book and then you've got the bibliography that's where they she got all the informations from reference books and things like that Right, now I'm going to turn the camera around again and then you can have a look at the cards. This is what the box looked like. It's dark blue, it's like uh, the blue b behind the, the moon and the stars, but unfortunately the box was torn a little bit. So I'll have to fix that. C uh, fold, cut the corners or bend them and then make an incision here and then I'll have a nice um, corner finish. They're still new. They're gold gilded on all sides and this is the backing to them and that little plastic band I'm glad they haven't done it too tightly I can just slide it off and this is the front of them. Okay the phasing now the this is the star for the wand that he's got with the flowers the star the crocodile I love the art on them and they are sticking together so let's have a look right I'll just have to do it like this that's the fool beautiful now you can all see um, magical um, symbols you've got the that stuff uh, that the um, hierophant has some dicks and you've got the yin and the yang balance you've got thunder 
you've got the magical staff, you've got all the tools on the table, and it looks like a snake. Yes, and that is the snake. Then we have the High Priestess, and she's holding the five-pointed star and she represents the moon goddess and you've got the triple moon goddess a skull on her head as a and the pillars yin and yang oh the empress is so beautiful look just look at these colors i hope you can see them you've got a chicken You've got transformation, the butterfly, also the moon, peace, a child here, birth, animals, the corn. Now we've got the emperor and that is such a beautiful, this is the moon, the sun and the moon coming together joined by the star. I think they're so beautiful, very, very colorful. Again, they have got a pagan um, aspect. And here you've got the bull, Taurus, and the bear. Now, I don't know, I would need the book for that. Taurus. And I will stop and I will use the book. I'll let you know. Well, the bear means the feminine side, so I think the tourist must mean, or the bull must uh, mean the masculine side. That's the opposites. And um, the limbreth means the journey within yourself spiritually. And the dove, obviously, peace. And you've got the rainbow for balance again. But it's beautiful. Then we have the lovers. Gemini and that's most probably Archangel Gabriel looking down on them giving them peace and that's the dove of peace then we've got the chariot and this is um, Pegasus most probably the dark side and the light side of Pegasus and the four wands I would say in this deck that will bring you stability and the strength card again these cards have a lot to do with the moon cycles and the infinity cir circle or symbol then we have the hermits and that's also that covers the box and the book then we have the wheel of fortune it's very difficult to see upside down. Okay, you've got the you've got the four symbols. You've got the air. You've got uh, the bull here. Um, then you've got the feminine, the bear again, and you've got the fox. And I just wonder what they resemble because usually it's depicted slightly differently. Okay. The white buffalo place a wisdom of gratitude. The archangels in four corners of this image offer a star in their hands, symbolizing guidance and help. The archangel at the bottom right is um, Archangel Michael bottom right bottom right so yes he's holding a sword so he's bottom right that's Archangel Michael okay and then the Archangel at the left hand bottom is Archangel Uriel and then that is a uh, uh, um, ba -ba -ba. that Archangel Uriel bringing peace the element is earth the astrological aspect is Taurus the Archangel at the top is Raphael 
and he's the uh, brings healing and he's the element air okay so Michael is the uh, is the element of fire interesting because usually Michael is the element of air astral astrological aspect is Leo okay I love it this deck will be proving my ability again and teaching me new things Libra the scales and that is um, uh, oh god what you call those beautiful animals the peacock's feathers and the tree of life and you've got the hanged man it's got a bit of an Indian effect if I turn it upside down it looks like a Buddha I can relate to that and the chakras and then we have the death card that's beautiful like Phoenix rising from the death ashes well that looks like uh, on the world Archangel Michael that's temperance then we have the devil Ooh. beautiful beautiful artwork the tower the star that's gorgeous 18 the moon the sun Again, the yin and the yang. The eagle. <laughs> Judgment. The big bear. That's an astrological sign, the big bear. This is the first deck that's made me clear why they're using the bear. So I've got another deck that's got the bear and the wolf, but it's the astrological sign in the sky, the stars. And then you've got the world and now we're going on to the wands they are sticking together so make sure this is how you initiate initiate them by welcoming separate separating them anyway that's the way I do it among other things besides sage I welcome all the cards to their new home Um, oh, that's already in the next suit okay this is the wands suit so it's the ace of wands the two of ace wands sorry the three of wands I'm sorry I'm not coming out of my words today didn't sleep last night the four of wands I love the two cups the bear cups the five of wands the six of wands it's already getting dusky here and yet these colors are so vibrant that it looks really bright the seven of wands the eight of wands the nine of wands the ten of wands there's so much to look in these pictures there's so much to see that I will have to go through them time and time again before I will be able to see more things than one this is a deck that your sight and your intuition will change constantaneously so you've got the knight you've got the queen 
and the king. That's the wants. Then we've got the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Four of Cups. I like it actually the way they have been done, taking time out for meditation. The Five of Cups. Six of Cups. The stock is really, really great. They're really tough. Not too tough. The Eight of Cups. That is gorgeous. The Nine of Cups. I would love to have a poster for my office. Or the Ten of Cups. I like the Nine of Cups better there. We've got the Princess of Cups. In some de in some suits it's the pri uh, Prince, but in the Cups it's the Princess. The Knight, the Queen, she's really beautiful. Mm, he's alright. He's alright too. The king. He looks gorgeous. Pisces. Should be cancer. As far as I know. The Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. You can see three eggs in the nest. That's what I mean. You look at the three eggs and you miss the three pentacles on her crown. The Four of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles looks like the star. So you have to look at it really carefully. The Six of Pentacles. And I find them also very, very native to different cultures. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. With the Purple Rain. I think of that song. Purple Rain, Nine of Pentacles. That reminds me of the Ro War of Roses, the Ten of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles, she's gorgeous. And then we've got the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. And he holds on to the Tree of Life. It's like a family tree comes into my head. And we've got the Swords. The Ace of Swords. Victory. The Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. I can't make this out whether she's leaning forward. Or when if she's bending down uh, over, praying. Then we've got the Four of Swords. That's gorgeous. The Five of Swords. Somebody sleeping in a boat. 
the seven of swords the eight of swords the nine of swords that's gorgeous card that is very beautiful the ten of swords The Prince of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords. I think she's beautiful. Look at the butterfly transformation and the King of Swords. And that was the cards and the review for uh, the Star Tarot. I think they're amazing. I'm going to... The stock is really tough. It's like the old-fashioned cards, but not too hard. Not like the Diana Virtue cards. And they're really great to shovel. They're really very quick to shovel oh yes they, sh they slide they're a matte finish as you can see they're a matte finish there's no not much glistening it's a matte finish great cards so I'll be doing next week's reading with the star tarot I'm going to try them out with my transparent tarot, but I think they're a bit too busy. But I'll, I'm going to give it a go, but I'll do that in my own time. Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed the review on the um, Star Tarot, okay? Just a quick shout out to uh, Shifer Red Feather, thank you very much for letting me do a review on the Star Tarot and I hope you all will enjoy the review as much as I've done. Okay, I'm just going to show you the cards again, just pile them out so you can have a quick look. I'm just going to put the camera back up. We do with what we've got, don't we? There you go. Really great stock. Perhaps you might have a favourite one. So, great stuff. Okay, my darlings, I hope you've enjoyed that. Take care and ciao, ciao. I'm just going to handle them again. I'm welcoming my cards. Thank you.